In this introduction to Turk's Head Knots video series, we're going to do the algorithm diagram for a seven part, five byte casa knot tied from the center of the string. Now, the reason we're doing this is just to show you that you can use the algorithm diagram in different ways other than always tying it right handed from bottom left to top right and from bottom right to top left you can do it in all four directions but let's first calculate out our two formulas parts divided by bytes seven divided by five now this is the same knot that we did the last video on so five will go into seven once with a remainder of two now we do our bytes five minus our r value which is two five minus two is three so that gives us our count mark off our bytes one two three four Five, we place a zero and we count over three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're going to, I'm going to draw this twice, but we're doing this and we're doing it regular, regular Casa knot. So one, two, three, four five six we start here with two four one three zero two going the other way two four one three zero two and let me do it again one two three four five six two four one three zero two two four one three zero two okay the reason i did this twice is on this one we're going to go from top left to bottom right in that direction and this one, across the bottom, we're going to go from bottom right. Okay, we come down. Okay, so we're going to go from top right to bottom left. So on this, we're going to be going in this direction. So when we calculate out our overs and unders, see how that would be an over, under, over, under over under now going this direction that would be an over under over under over under where in the regular one we've always went on the top we've went from bottom left to top right in that direction so that was an under over under over under over and we've always went from bottom right to top left in that direction so that was an under over under over under over so this and it's drawn out here so that you can kind of follow I'm going to fold my string in half so that I, and I'm going to put my needle up there out of the way. And we are going to start in the center of the string. And we're going to go from top left to bottom right as a free run. Now we're looking, I need my pen. We're looking for zero. It's right there. So we're going to go over. 
Now we're looking for zero, it's right there. It is an over. So we're going that direction, over. Now we're looking for two. Oh no, we're looking for one. So we've got an over two. Go right there. Now we're looking for one. It's right there. So we got an over two. It's right there. With our over two. Now we're looking for our two. There and there. So over three. One, two, three. And under our standing end. Okay, that is as far as I'm going with the top drawing. Now, we're going to go down here. We're going to pick up the string that had the needle on it, and we're going to go the other way. So, we have already done our zeros, ones, and twos. So, let me mark those. There's a zero, and there's a one, and there's our twos. So I got to mark them up here. There's our zero, there's our one, and here's our two. And that is the one we're on. Now we've changed direction, so we're gonna go from left bottom to top right. So it's gonna be under, 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 over. So see my under, 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 over? It's right there. Going the other direction. Now, we are looking for three. It's right there. We're gonna go under two, over, under, over. Yeah, right there. Under two. And. Get my twist out. There. Over, under, over. Over, under, over. We are looking for our number three. It's right there, so we got under two, over, under, over. Here's our under two. There's our over, there's our under, and our over. Okay. Now there's our tracks for our last one. We're looking for four. Under, over, under, over, under, over. Under, over. I pulled out my string that time. Under, over. And under, over. And that brought us back to our standing end. It's a regular knot. So we just go under alongside the standing part. And I hope that showed how you can use this algorithm diagram in many different ways. You will have to try to tie this knot. It has been fun and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.